Well, thank you so much for speaking to Good Times. Ghost stories. I mean, after love stories, ghost stories was the best transition, is it? <laughs> I don't know. Cause it's Karan's idea. For me, I only want to take what challenges. I've never done this and I jumped at it. I said, yeah, let's do it. True, you said, I mean, it's your first time and you said this is a film where you can explore subjects that people fear to talk about. Yeah. So tell us about the subject and you are the sole protagonist in this. So. The subject is about a woman who's again trying to have a baby and she's had a miscarriage in the past. Mm. And she's traumatized by that and anxious about this. And how your own fears play on you. So what was your experience like doing? It's also your first horror film as such. Yeah, but I mean, it's not really conventional horror. The idea of conventional horror also, I think, changed for me. Yeah, it's not boo horror. Yeah, yeah. it's not like it's some psychologically um, outer body that's scaring me. It's more like the demons inside my mind, ghosts of my past that really haunt me to an extent where my reality completely alters. You know, like I, I'm just living in a different zone altogether. My, and I think that's that's very true to how we all are. I mean, in, in, to put it in the simplest way, we're all like, like I don't know, hurt by past, I don't know, broken relationships true, true. of any kind, you know. So similarly, I think when, when there's a little bit of reality, it's all, always a lot more scary. But do you believe in ghosts? I don't. I believe in other kind of ghosts that exist outside. And actually, we see a lot of ghosts in our present yeah. times yeah. around us. But what about you? Do you believe in demons, them? Demons, demons. Demons, yeah. Demons. I no, I, I believe in uh, that. I, I believe in the fact that someone can be completely like out of control, of like if someone cannot be normal. That I believe. That, yeah, that I, I also believe. Yeah. We have a lot of people. So I don't know if I. Who are abnormal? Yeah. So those are demons as such. So. Yeah. Same same. So yeah. make the ghosts come to be so. like friendly entities than the real entities that we deal with. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, I think those are all inside us. Just like I mean. It's not really. Good. I think the, the ghosts, as compared to real people, are like Casper. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So, also, what's most challenging about doing a horror film? I think to make people believe, because I chose to do a psychological horror, mm. which is not really about ghosts or things like that. To it's not make a people uh, shock value. Yeah. It's not that. To make people believe it and and Invest. feel it. Hmm. and re live it and, and just pfft. and that was challenging to make them believe also this one had to I don't know what all she went through because when she got her pregnant belly which was prosthetic and she was very happy like look at my baby and she was jumping <laughs> around and dancing around and her transition to last day when she had a total meltdown and she cried and broke down and was angry and so it does take its toll on you and they often say that when you're doing these ghost, uh, shooting ghost films, there's always paranormal activity happening around you. Did you experience anything of that sort? I actually felt a lot more closer to myself in the sense that like I have disturbing thoughts. Hmm. I think we all do. Hmm. Just like little flashes of like wanting to do something. Something as simple as like I look, I look at a cup on a table, I just feel like Doo. <laughs> it falls. Something as simple as that. Like So it was nice to nice to sort of take it all out and put it in a story. My fears of like, I don't know, being being a woman, I have my share of fears. Yeah. Uh, with regards to my body, with regards to my, I don't know. I don't even know what all, so because of lack of knowledge, because of lack of experience, and I've witnessed like people go through so much and how traumatized they are. So it's just a very underrepresented topic. So it's, a, it's, it, it's, it's mysterious to me. Hmm. And it can really build up. So, yeah. So why did you choose on this particular topic? I don't know. I, I, I have never written a ghost story. When I decided on the idea of ghost story, I put it out in the universe. I'm looking for a ghost story to make. And a lot of scripts came to me. I picked this one which came from within the team. This 22-year-old girl, Isha Lutra, mm. she wrote it. And I'm like, what is this? And I said, have you experienced anything like this? And she's like, no, I haven't. I said, how did you write something like that? And I saw her... The, uh, Film school films, yeah. which were also like in this zone. In this zone, and it just spoke to me in the sense I felt like this is what I want to do, because everything else was very pretty conventional. Mm. And also horror as a genre. I mean, we've had the Ramsey Brothers, we've had Mehel, we had Kumra, Bhut Bangla, movies like Mahel, that. Yeah. Exactly. I like Mehel Madhumati. 
Oh, yes. I like those things. I think that's also why our colors are very kind of a true to create that kind of a space. But in the 80s and the 90s, suddenly horror went the other way. You know, the Ramsey brothers or those gory faces. I face love Ramsey th- brothers. Okay, sorry, they really scared me. But now suddenly horror has suddenly the genre is coming up. Everybody, there's horror comedy coming up. You're doing ghost stories. What is it now? Suddenly it's getting its due. You feel? I think Jason Bloom. We must credit him. Bloom House. Has been doing some great stuff and has reinvented and or or say made it popular again. But growing up on Exorcist, growing up on uh, Nosferatu and Dracula, mm. and I've grown up on horror. I'm a genre freak, but never done horror before. Ah, uh, what about you? Any favorite horror films? Scared? Any para? Mm-hmm. Have Have you ever had a supernatural experience or something? No, like? not supernatural. I'm, I I've always been very scared of like horror films. I I don't even watch trailers because I live by myself most of the time and mm. I don't want to put myself through. Like I have very uh, wild imagination, so I don't plunge. So what was it like then working on it? What, did you have a tough time going home, sleeping, and like? No, no, no. Actually, I slept really well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So next time in. I mean, after doing a horror film, when you watch a horror film, you not scream, right? Or you'll be okay with it. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I scream, even if I'm really scared in any situation. At least not on the you outside. Should, you would probably cry. Yeah, like when I'm any extreme emotion, like happy, sad, angry, I cry. That's my outlet, I think. Or I write whatever. Yeah. So Anurag, after I mean, you also make movies that have disturbed us, that have made us think. Now what more? I want to hope to continue disturbing everybody. I like to disrupt and disturb. So you're the disruptor. It's a nice thing to be a disruptor yeah, in today's yeah. day and age. सारी फिल्में तो लोगों को खुश करते हैं ना किसी एक को तो तंग करना चाहिए ना. सही में. And Shobita, wedding planner, then you were an agent, bard of blood. Now this, what more? Exciting times for you though. Yeah, it's been good. I mean, um, so much of the work I've done in the last two years has all come out this year. So it, it it's been fruitful in the sense that it's been a busy year in terms of projects coming out, which is which is nice. I want to do a lot of lot of work. I want to tell a lot of stories, and uh, I want to tell them when I'm able to tell them. So I want to grow to that level of being able to tell them. That's all I really seek. And since you both worked before, also, so was she the natural choice? No, no, she tested for it. Hmm. We tested two people actually. So, but what was it like being back again after you know? The- okay, so we have a pact. Okay. Uh, when we did our first film, um, I was cast in Raman Raga after my audition, and uh, I. It's so easy to end up expecting or hoping or depending on someone who's given you that first chance or something, or, or for that yeah. person to you know like want to maybe further your your career, your prospects out of just good intent. But I knew that like if that happened, I wouldn't truly be empowered. So we, I it was this sort of the unsaid thing that he wouldn't help me with finding finding work. I wouldn't go to him to ask for work, and that's what kept our bond uh, both respectful, healthy, and genuinely close. No, I think I just. She's also a friend, so whenever I'm doing anything, she does know what I'm doing. And whenever she feels like it, she says, "Can I test for it? Dekh lo na mere ko. Acha lagye to le na, nahi le na lagye mat le na." That's how it is. That's how it is. Yeah. Our idea this time, I'll do this short film without Radhika. <laughs> <laughs> okay, between Radhika and Shobita, who's the first choice ever for you? Hmm. Isa sawal nahi puchna chahiye. Isa kaan ban kar. I have Radhika ke saath maine three short films kiye hoye. So Radhika was the first choice, but not anymore because Radhika has made a blanket rule that I will not do another short film with you. मेरे पास feature लेके आ नहीं तो मेरे को शकल मत दिखा. अच्छा. उसे मैंने feature नहीं किया. So Radhika से ही rejected हुआ. अच्छा. और आप बताओ. खोल लो, खोल लो कान खोल. Sorry. Okay. So if a ghost was to walk in now, what would your reaction be? You look familiar. Do you, are you the home minister? तो तो आप क्या तो तो यू नो लाइक द फर्स्ट इन दैट्स क्लोजेस्ट अ फेमस गोस्ट आई आई मीन मीन यू सेड द द गोस्ट आर मच बेटर देन डीमंस लर्किंग अराउंड अ फेमस गोस्ट दैट यू वुड एक्चुअली वांट टू मीट विद मे बी हैव कॉफी विद लाइक अ डेड पर्सन डेड पर्सन गोस्ट इन टाइम लाइक आई वुड लाइक टू मीट दिस पर्सन आई वु लाइक टू मीट द गोस्ट ऑफ Hitler, and bring him here, hmm. and make him talk to the people and talk about his experience and like how. 
the legacy. The legacy that he kind of doesn't want to, which is the burden on him, because of which he's still stuck in the can't transition anywhere else. It's true. Because it's true. Are you he would learn from it. Make a movie on those lines? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what about you? Um, maybe like. I read so much Charles Bukowski in the last like one or two years. I think it'll be nice to sort of like be around him and to see because he used to write so much about his everyday life that mm. I want to see how much of it is really real. It's quite real. Yeah. You think? Yeah. Mm. Well, thank you so much. Now, since you both have done a horror film, now will you scream next time you see a horror film? No. You'll be like, hmm. Oh, I, I enjoy horror films. I like being mm. scared. I like being on the edge. Yeah. Aren't you at the edge anyways, living in the times we do? <laughs> <laughs> anyways, thank you so thank much. You. All the very thank best. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.